2 completed its probe of the distant asteroid Mahoroba and has successfully taken off again. It is scheduled to return to Earth approximately a year from now. A year from now? That is a long ways away. Mahoroba is very, very far away, though. I have a question. Why did Hitaka 2 go to such a faraway asteroid? To bring back sand and other things from Mahoroba, I think. I'm not sure of the details, however. How about going and visiting Mr. Rorson tomorrow and asking him about it? Mm -hmm. I will ask him. The news about Hitaka too, right? I saw it on TV last night. I saw it too. I saw it as well. Wow, incredible. And I was curious like Shimajiro, so I also asked my dad why it was sent so far into space. But then, uh... Hey, Dad! I like it, uh... uh um... <coughs> mm. oh, come on, Dad! He always acts like he's asleep when I ask hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder if there was a Haitaka 1 since it's called Haitaka 2. Mm-hmm. The first Haitaka rocket was the one they called the Miracle Rocket, remember? The, the Miracle, Miracle Rocket? rocket? I heard that that rocket got lost, though, on the way back to the Earth. But if that rocket was called the Miracle Rocket, then does that mean... Yes! All of the people who worked on the first rocket completely gave up on it till then. But Hitaka returned safely! Yes! Uh. Oh, wow! I hope that Hitaka 2 will return safely to Earth also. Mm-hmm. I know. After school today, we should visit Mr. Rorson at his place and ask him about Hitaka 2. I, I agree. agree! Ready? Mr. Mr. Rorson! Hello, children. Welcome. Hi, Mr. Rorson. We want to ask you about something. Is it about Hitaka 2 that was on TV last night by any chance? You got it. That is correct. I am happy that everybody is interested in outer space all of a sudden. Come in. I will tell you about whatever you want to know. Okay. Come. Come sit in these chairs. <laughs> For just this purpose, I have built a room where you can experience space travel in the same way that Hitaka 2 does. Wow. You are incredible. So nice. I am getting so all righty then, ready? We are off and launching. Wow! Oh, wow! It really feels like we're floating around in space. First, let's look at the Earth we live on and see exactly where it is located. Whoa! It's moving! Look, something is getting closer. It is giant! This here! That must be... Yes, this is the sun. I didn't know that the sun was burning. It may look like it is, but the sun is actually generating a lot of energy. All right, so now let us look at the things called planets. These planets orbit around the sun. We will look at them from the closest one to the sun. The closest is Mercury. It is very small compared to the sun. What do you think? Next is Venus, the closest planet to Earth. And this is Earth, where we live. It's blue and pretty. I wonder where our island might be. All right, we will zoom in. Oh. Zooming further. Oh, we can see your house. Hey, Mr. Rorschach. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue with our space journey now. The planet after Earth is Mars. It is thought that there might have been oceans on it a long time ago. Now there are lots of little stars around us. They look like rocks. This asteroid belt is where all the little asteroids gather together. And when we pass through the asteroid belt... I recognize this planet. It is Jupiter, right? Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It has over 60 moons. Then on Jupiter, the night sky must be full of moons. 
After we pass Jupiter. This must be Saturn. This planet is easy to recognize because it has big rings around it. Those rings are made of ice, you know, Mimi Lin? Uranus is so far from the sun, it is a cold, icy planet. It is much smaller than Jupiter or Saturn, am I right? Oh, I see another planet! This is Neptune, and it is another icy planet. And finally, we will go and have a look at Maharoba. This is Maharoba, the asteroid that Hitaka 2 surveyed. It just seems like a piece of rock. Why come all the way out here just to survey a piece of rock like this one? Good question. Then let's find out what Hitaka 2 did before leaving Maharoba to return. Hey, something is coming. It's Hitaka 2! Actually, Hitaka 2 did a detailed survey of Maharoba for over a year. It measured a lot of things like the shape, size, and temperature of the asteroid because it was looking for a place where it could land. And after the location was decided... Something came out of it! It's a device to make a crater on the surface of Maharoba. Then Hitaka 2 moved into the shadow of Maharoba and... This way, Hitaka 2 is able to land in the crater and collect samples from not only the surface, but also rocks and sand from inside the asteroid. But why did they want to do that? Asteroids like Maharoba are a collection of many materials that could not become a big planet like our planet Earth. How sad it sounds like the poor thing is just leftovers. It sounds sad, but in all those leftovers, there might be some materials still in their original form that are necessary for making planets. The Earth today has oceans and many species living here, but it has changed so much that there is not much information left about when Earth was actually born. That is why we want the samples that Hitaka 2 collects. Wow. Those samples can be analyzed and we may find clues as to how Earth was born. And maybe we could find the origin of life. That is so exciting! I hope it comes back safely to Earth. It's supposed to arrive here next year, though. I wonder what Hitaka 2 will bring us back. I cannot wait! Let me say sorry. Supercar of the superhero, Ratman! Ha <laughs> ha! The rat jet is way more powerful! Take that! Whoa! They're both on Ratman's side, you know! They probably get into a fight once in a while! Hmm! You will lose! <laughs> Whoa! 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 I got really thirsty! I'm going to drink some water! Yes! Me too! Oh! Toys behind on this bench here. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, they really oh, like oh. Ratman. All right, I would rather go play on the swings right now. Me too. Let's go then. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh? That was Mimi Lynn and Nikki there. Were they playing with these? Hmm. <laughs> oh! oh no! What should I do? The Ratman uh, car is more powerful. Uh, oh. I'm telling you. <laughs> I want to play with our toys again. Hurry, Flappy. <laughs> what did you do to my rat jet, Shimajiro? What? It wasn't me. I didn't do that. You just broke the jet. I saw you. No, it was already broken. Who broke it then? Huh? Well, I don't know. Oh, I have to tell them. What happened? Uh, uh, it's broken! Did Shimajiro break it? As I said, I didn't do that! Oh, I'm the one who did it! Oh, but... Kiko! <laughs> what are you doing over there, Kiko? Uh, uh, um... Kiko, you must have seen what happened to it. It wasn't me the one who broke it, right? It was Shimajiro, right? Uh, um, I, uh... 
I just arrived, so... I see. In that case, you wouldn't know. Hey, what are you going to do about my rat jet? Oh, I have to tell the truth. Um, actually, I... Uh, I know! We should try and ask Mr. Rorson to fix it! Mr. Rorson? Great idea! Mr. Rorson should be able to get it back together! You're, You're right! right. <laughs> you have broken it pretty bad, huh? You think so? Mm -hmm. Can you fix it, Mr. Rorson? Of course! There is nothing that these hands cannot fix, as you already know. Really? Awesome! Leave it to me! I'll fix it! So, how did this happen? <laughs> yes, how, Shimajiro? I already said it wasn't me! But it could not just break by itself, could it, Shimajiro? No, no. Well, there is no question that someone broke your toy jet. But sometimes, it feels awkward to come out and admit it, though. In times like these... Oh? This is where it comes in. Huh? Whoa, what is that? When you do not have the courage to apologize, it will apologize for you instead. Introducing Robot Apologizer. Apologizer? I am sorry, 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 really, sorry, sorry, is it the sorry, sorry, apologizing? Really sorry. It will keep on sorry, apologizing really for sorry. you forever. Sorry, Convenient, sorry, you might say. Really sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I don't need sorry, to be apologized really to. Sorry, it's okay. Sorry, Just stop sorry, it now. Really sorry, it's Flappy who sorry, needs it. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. 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 It's apologizing to a pillar. Sorry. No, oh, it's not supposed to be doing this! Stop that, robot apologizer! I guess it failed once again. <laughs> How could this have happened? What did you do to my flat jet, Shimajiro? But I didn't do it. Oh, I really have to say something this time. But if Flappy is so sure that I did it, maybe I did do it. Maybe it broke because I hit it way too hard before. What if it was me? What should I do? Huh? No, the truth is I... Uh, I have to tell him. Come on, Jero! Huh? <laughs> I've been thinking about it a lot since it happened. It might have been me who broke the rat jet, you know. What? What? I'm sorry I said it was your fault. Flappy, I'm sorry too. Huh? What is this? Are they making up now? But I am the one who broke it. And hey, maybe Mr. Rorson already repaired the rat jet by now. You're right. We should go there and see. No, no, I have to tell the truth and apologize. Um, actually, I... Huh? Hey, hey, wait! So you couldn't wait any longer and came here? Yes! We wanted to know if the rat jet is fixed yet. Shimajiro, Flappy, Kiko! What is it? Um, I am the one who broke Flappy's toy! What? Ah! I'm so sorry. Oh. So that's what happened. It was an accident. I almost drop it too sometimes, Kiko. What? Then you will forgive me? Of course. I'm proud of you, Kiko. Thank you. I wanted to apologize for a long time, but I couldn't. Yes, Kiko. You had courage to say you were sorry. Good on you. When you say sorry, you feel better, right? Yes, now I am kind of relieved. Thank you. I'm glad you feel better. Well then, let me show you your rat jet. My rat Whoa! jet is fixed again. It's all in one piece again. Quick, try pressing that switch now. Oh, this one? Hmm. Wow. 
I upgraded it a little while I was repairing it. I hope that's okay. Flappy, do you like it? Mm-hmm. It's great. Thank you, Mr. Rorson. Whoosh. Uh, Shimajiro, Flappy, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Mimelin and Nikki? Why are you apologizing? We think that it might have been us who actually broke your rat man toy. What? We were just goofing around with your toys, playing with them, and we knocked it, so I think... Oh! Is, is it, it fixed? fixed? Don't worry about that any longer. So, everything is all fine now. It is? Sorry! Sorry! Hey, oh, 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 sorry, oh. sorry! Oh! You do not have to apologize! Sorry, sorry. 